Okay, so I've got a pair of Sorconi Excursion TR13s. They were brand new about 3.8 kilometers ago. So I just did a 3.8 walk in them and a 1k run in that. Um, here's the box. So it's the Sorconi Excursion TR13 size 10. So the box, there's no frills, it's just that's all that comes in the box. There's a bit of paper. That's the receipt. It's $119 from $119.98. It's $120 from Kathmandu. Brought in store in Western Australia. Okay. <clears throat> My first set of trail runners. I've never owned any. Now, I just brought cheap ones. Cheap hiking running shoes from like you have at the supermarket. And... Um, they last about 5Ks and then my feet were just going straight through the foam, through the heel, and I could feel every rock on the ground. So this is my first set of decent trail runners. I suppose you would call them mid-range because you can pay up to $300 for trail runners. I'm not going to spend any more than, say, 100 oh, what I did basically on shoes because I don't do it run enough. I'm not after name brand. I'm just after running. <coughs> um... So they already look dirty. Uh, what I found with trying on trail runners is you get cheaper ones than these, that like Adidas and stuff like that, and they're virtually just the sizes aren't right. I'm a ten and a half in a work boot and ten in a decent brand running shoe. If I have to try on a running shoe and I'm size nine and a half in them, that means they're a cheap shoe and I'm not getting them. So these actually after just trying on around that mid-range were the best shoe I've tried on. They feel really good, like a glove. They fit my shoe. I've got flies biting me at the moment, March flies. I'm dancing around a bit. Um, yeah, I noticed they're attractive in the way they've got the grip. It's all like a crocodile grip on them. That looks really sturdy, the tip. That's my main thing because I go up steep hills and worrying about that splitting off is a big thing. And they got the back. Some of the cheap ones in the shoes I've noticed don't have a curve underneath. They're fully flat. That's a big no-no, I reckon. And these feel really good that they just feel like a shoe that feels good. Something that I put on and just felt like, nah, that fits like a glove. I'm getting them. Uh, they're really light. When I picked up the box in the, in the bag, I thought, forgot how light they were. And thought there's just no weight in them. It's got that old school mesh which really I think dries out quick and apparently these are good for wet weather because they dry quick and I think that the water doesn't get in them very easy but um, lightness, the comfortability is fantastic, the tread felt good um, and I ran on the road with them a bit to find, um, you could feel the difference how chunky the tread is on the main road so I wouldn't like to walk on long distance in road, on road in them, or pathways. Um, but apart from that, I found them just, to put them on, say, yep, I'm definitely getting them. Uh, perfect fit, lightweight, <coughs> and just feel like they're meant to be on my feet. And that's when I think it should be that you know you found the right shoe for yourself. Um, without having to go silly and just pay... I don't know, two to three hundred for a pair of Nike or something like that, just because of the brand. So that's, I think that's how you pronounce, pronounce it, Sorconi or Sorconi uh, or Sorconi. Um, <coughs> so yeah, that's my review on them. The only thing I can think to say that there's that Versafoam thing in the middle, the gap. Uh, they feel good. And I suppose now it's just to see how long they last. I don't do massive amount of trail running, so they sh I should get a fair few years out of them.